Kuna mengi tumekuandalia kama kawaida alamisi tunaleta mawaziri, wafafanue, wachanganue, wajieleze na katika siku ya leo tunatarajia muda wote kutoka sasa kitoka bungeni ili tuwe na waziri wa masuala ya kigeni bwana Alfred Mutua azungumze nasi mengi lakini kwa hivi sasa ana muda wa kusawazisha swala zima na uhusiano swala zima la Canada kule bunge kwa hiyo akianza tu kueleza bayana tutakupelekea kwa picha za moja kwa moja lakini usisahau kwamba mawaziri wengine na wako same tofauti tofauti na pia tutakuwa tunawafuatilia katika siku ya leo. Lakini mwaka uliopita uh, ndugu yangu Chris Pinotia ni kwamba Kenya ilipigwa na butwa baada ya kusikia taarifa za ndugu yetu Junior Sagini kutolewa macho yake mawili uh, kwa miezi mitano. Uh, safari ya haki imekuwa ikiendelea. Baadaye ikaweza kuwakamata wale walokuwa karibu naye kama vile nyanya yake, binamu na wengineo. Kufikia siku ya leo najua kwamba kwa familia ile inasubiri kuona kama haki itasimama upande wao ili waone kwamba wale waliotekeleza unyama huu wanakabiliwa na mkono wa sheria. Upo makamaani kufika sa, kufikia sasa. Umekutana pande zote mbili hizi za wale ambao wanashtakiwa na wale ambao wanasubiri haki. Je, wanayapi kabla kesi ianze kusikilizwa rasmi na hukumu kutolewa? na mrashid ulivyosema tayari tuko uh, ndani ya mahakama uh, mjini kisi ambapo tumekuwa tukifuatilia uh, kwa karibu sana kesi ambapo uh, mtoto wa miaka mitatu baby junior sagini aliongolewa macho yote eh, mawili uh, mwaka jana disemba uh, na hile uh, kesi hiyo vile vile ilikuwa inarejea mahakamani tena uh, japo imesitishwa kwa muda uh, kutokana na sababu ambazo hazinge epukika na ndio maana sasa nataka tu kuungana uh, naye mawakili ili eh, wa mtoto um, huyo baby sagini watuelezee tu mpaka sasa kikao cha leo tumeona kwamba uh, imesitishwa kwa muda mpaka tarehe na moja ambapo kesi hiyo itakuwa ikirejelewa. Hebu tuambie leo ilikuwa ina uhusu nini eh, baada ya kuona kwa jinsi ambavyo washukiwa walijitetea na vile vile upande wa mashtaka. Um, kiongozi wa mashtaka na na timu yake ya mawakili wenye walikuwa kitetea mtoto aliyeongolewa macho uh, sagini walikuwa uh, wafike kotini na mawakili na wale washukiwa leo na sababu ya kikao cha leo kilikuwa ni kwamba kufika kupa, kuhakikisha kwamba submissions yale stakabadhi za na kala zote za tangu kesi kuanza na penye kesi imefikia zilikuwa zi uh, wakilishwe kama mahakamani na baada kuwakilishwa mahakamani pia uh, akimu mkuu akimu Kristin uh, Ogweno pia uh, anukulu kwamba zime kwa file na sababu za nyazinge uh, epukika Uh, kesi ingeendelea siku ya kesho tarehe sita lakini jana uh, tulifanya application na keka akimu akakubali kutisikiza leo na ni lini linatendeka wakati um, kesi inafikia uh, wa, ma, kiwango chenye mefika sasa tangu tuanze kesi kesi ya kiongozi wa mashtaka na wana mawakili wanaowakilisha mtoto sagini mawakili wenye tuliakilisha law society of kenya kisi county government na center kanisa tulileta washahidi tisa kwa kesi na stakabadhi kama ushahidi kwa kesi na tukafunga kesi yetu Baadaye upande wa utetezi wa watumio watatu Alex, Rachel na Pacifica pia walijitetea lakini hawakuita washahidi wa wote na wakafunga kesi yao. Sasa kesi ikifikia uh, wakati kama huu ni wakati ule wa kufanya summary ya kesi. Na summary ya kesi inaitwa submission. Submission ni nakala zenye zinaonyesha kwamba ni nini kimeendelea katika kesi. Na nakala hizi zinakuwa na yale ushahidi ulioletwa na pia uh, sheria za kulingana na mashtaka na sheria za utetezi. So wa akimu mkuu a uh, Christian Ogweno amepatia upande wa uh, kiongozo mashtaka na mawakili wanaotetea mtoto sagini nafasi ya siku saba ili waweke stakabadhi zao submission 
na kupeana tarehe 31 ya mwezi wa tano kuwa ni siku kwamba tutakuwa kotini na ni nini kitachotuleta kotini ni kufanya highlighting highlighting ni ile kutoa kielelezo cha kesi chetu vile imekuwa kutoa kielelezo kwamba ni na, ni, ni na, na kara zenye tulitoa washahidi ni ushahidi gani tulitoa ni sheria gani ni kesi gani zimeamuliwa mbeleni zenye zili tumika kwa hukumu wa shukiwa wenye walifanya kesi kama hii tuko nayo na kwa upande wa mashtaka na mawakili wenye tumewakilisha mtoto sagini tuko na ile confidence kwamba tumefanya kesi na mtoto sagini atapata haki na hawa watuumiwa ama washukiwa watatu wataadhibiwa kulingana na sheria. Alafu kuna yule mkenya ambaye anauliza kwamba uh, kesi kama hii inapaswa kuchukua muda gani kwa sababu tuliona kwamba uh, kisa chenyewe kilifanyika uh, tarehe 13 Desemba mpaka sasa wakenya watarajie ama uh, familia uh, ya kesa gani tarajie uh, labda kesi hiyo itaisha wakati gani. Na kidogo uh, tutasema kuna uh, kesi wakati mwingine zinaweza tuchukua muda mrefu kuisha lakini kama tungekuwa na oh, utendaji kesi kama hii ni kesi inatakana kuisha kwa haraka sababu ni kesi imekuwa na interest kubwa sana na tu kidogo kwa kusema na vile hakimu Christine Ogweno vile amefanya kesi na zile direction ametoa leo nina imani kwamba kesi ya toto sagini na uamuzi utatoka mwezi wa saba so karibu mwezi moja kutoka leo tutakuwa na uamuzi kwamba washukiwa wa, wa wa, watafungwa ama wataachiliwa lakini kwa imani kama mmoja wa mawakili wa mtoto sagini washukiwa watumeo watatu wataenda gerezani Asante yeah. sana. Na tunaye pia wakili mwingine hapa atatuelezea anaitwa nani kisha uh, kuzungumziaje kuhusu mpaka wakati huu wa leo kesi hiyo imefika. Ya yeah, um, uh, Bonuke David Biaki an advocate of the high court um, one of the advocates representing uh, uh, the victim or the complainant of this case that is baby Stagini Jr. Uh, this, uh, this was a case that raised emotions not only in Kenya but all over the globe and we are glad and humble that we are part of this team that is uh, trying to see the light to this case that baby Stagini gets justice and uh, uh, the case started uh, in December 2022 and uh, uh, considering how it has been run, calling nine witnesses, then the, the, uh, the, the defense case also they have been heard. We have really tried, we have cooperated, all the stakeholders from the court, from the defense and from the prosecution, we really have uh, done a, a great job and we are confident that um, all bill, uh, this case will end well. Um, today, uh, as my seniors uh, put it, we were uh, the case was being mentioned to confirm filing of submissions. Submissions uh, basically means uh, uh, marrying, marrying uh, facts, uh, evidence, and the law, so that uh, both the prosecution and the defence will vouch for their cases and see uh, whether the, 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 the accused persons are guilty or not. So uh, due to an avoid of circumstances, we, we couldn't manage to file submissions uh, by today. So we made an application today to adjourn the same, to be allowed time so that we, we can do that in due time within seven days, so that we'll be mentioning this same case on 31st of, um, of May 2022, that's next week, for purposes of uh, uh, confirming the said uh, filing and also highlighting. Highlighting means uh, we'll be now putting emphasis on the laws we have used, on the, on the evidence, on the testimonies that uh, uh, the witnesses that were called uh, issued the courts. Wakati, eh, wakati sasa kesi itakuwa ikiamuliwa, uh, tutatarajia labda uh, sagini maali aliko o familia watu wote watakuwa nafika mahakamani ama itakuwa jebu tujenge taswira siku hiyo wa wakati judgment itakuwa ikitolewa. Uh, uh, the, the, there's no uh, uh, rule uh, uh, per se to, to confirm whether the complaint must be in, complainant must be in court, but uh, we 
we okay we really hope that every party since everyone will be interested in the the grand ruling or judgment of this case we hope and we are looking forward to seeing everyone in court tunarajia kwamba siku ya judgment ya kesi sababu ni kesi imeshika uh, nia na ishia za watu wote duniani mzima kwamba kwanza citizen tv na vitengo vyote vya habari kwamba the judgment ya kesi ya baby sagini itakuwa live to everybody in the world aone kwamba justice has been done for baby sagini na mtoto yote yule mwenye anaweza dhulumiwa vibaya kama baby sagen yes shukran sana uh, mawakili kwa kutuzungumzia kuhusu kesi hiyo uh, yake mtoto baby sagidi kwa hivyo ulivyosikia hapo uh, rashid uh, tumekuwa tukizungumza na mawakili ambao wanatuelezea tu uh, mpaka sasa uh, mali kesi hiyo imefika kutoka sasa tunaambiwa kwamba uh, mnamo uh, mwezi julai hapo ndipo uh, mahakama itakuwa ikitoa uamuzi wake iwapo wale uh, watatu watakuwa uh, wakihukumiwa ama watakuwa wakiachiliwa huru kwa hivyo kama runinga ya citizen tuko zaidi tutazidi eh, kufuatilia kesi hii eh, hadi pale ambapo itakapofika ah, tamati kwa hivyo tutakuwa tukichukua mapumziko mafupi kisha tutakuwa tukirejea ah, na mambo ah, maswala mengine eh, siku hii ya leo